Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over uh, how my hash flare situation is going. Is it scamming out? Was I able to withdraw, etc.? Uh, see what my di rigs did over the weekend, and um, that's about it. Let's get into it. Alright, so real quick guys, before we go on, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. All you got to do is subscribe, hit that notification bell below, so that when that video comes out to enter to win, you'll be notified. It's that easy guys, alright? So let's get into the uh, Hashler news and I'll show you what's been going on. Okay, so if you guys watched my uh, previous video on Hashflare, uh, it should be popping up here in a little bit. Um, the new thing is they want an ID verification, like your driver's license or, you know, your passport or something like that. And I said I wasn't going to do that. I'm not going to submit my, you know, driver's license to, uh, some website, you know. So, um, I was not able to withdraw. Um, I changed my uh, wallet address and it said take two weeks before you're, uh, even able to try and withdraw. So other people had said they were able to withdraw without doing that second step. So finally two weeks came and went, and I was still unable to withdraw from Hashflare. So here's my account. Um, what I did was, again, I didn't want to submit my driver's license, so I was like, well, they need an ID. So I have a concealed firearms license which just has my picture on it and date of birth and basically the state I'm in. So I said, well, that doesn't have my address or anything or a driver's license number or a signature or anything like that. So there's nothing really anyone can do with that type of ID. So at least as far as I know. So I went ahead and I submitted that today. And as you can see here, it's pending approval basically right here. But the funny thing is, I was able to withdraw. So I withdrew one um, 0 0.01 BTC. I will show you that real quick. So right here, confirm 0 0.01 BTC 813-2018, which is today. And just to prove that, here is my um, one of my wallets. And as you can see, 0 0.01 BTC received a couple hours ago. So I was able to get it out, and they it's like they just wanted something su submitted. You probably don't even have to, because it was so fast. I mean, once I submitted it, I went right to this page, and it already said level 2. So I said, well, heck, let me try it. So I went and withdrew, boom. Within 15 minutes, the Bitcoin was in my account. So, I don't know, you might even be able to just get away with um, submitting a picture, and that's about it. I don't know. Maybe you can try that. Maybe maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. But, anyways, my concealed firearms license worked. So, tomorrow I'm going to actually split this value in half. So, it should be 0 .009 and uh, withdrawal. Uh, and I would draw 0 .009 over the next two days so I can get pretty much all of my BTC out. So, did they scam it out? Not really. Um, but it, they are making you, of course, jump through hoops to get your BTC. But there is a way around actually submitting a driver's license. Um, if you maybe have like a library card. That may work, you know. Sometimes library cards have got your picture on it. Usually has your name and picture on it. So you could probably submit a library card. Uh, if you got a concealed weapons permit, you can submit that. Obviously, that works. Um, so I'm going to get all my BTC out of here, and then I'll be completely done with Hashler. So let me know what you all think below. Uh, maybe you guys can try that. Maybe you won't. Um, it's worth getting your uh, BTC out if you get a decent amount. So, thought I would share that with you guys. Um, 
in the hopes that uh, you guys out there can withdraw some of your BTC as well, you know. A library card is probably a pretty good idea, you know. A library card, maybe even a, um, a gym card, you know. Maybe you go to like uh, LA Fitness or something like that, you know. It's got your picture on it. It's got your name. Should possibly have it on there. You can try that. You know, any form other than a driver's license, you know. It's not really going to be giving away anything. So, um, anyways, here is my uh, spreadsheet going. Um, as you can see here in uh, red right now, I did sell the 1063 gig on eBay. So I'm in the process of deciding whether I want to get a 1066 gig, which are um, $300 off NVIDIA, or getting a 1070 Ti. Um, the ROI in the 6 gig would be faster than the 1070 Ti, but it's obviously not going to make as much money as the, uh, the 1070. But I'm still deciding that, so hopefully this week, uh, once I get the Bitcoin out of uh, Hashflare, yeah, I've already got the money for this. So I'll probably put that all together and get another card. I'm leaning towards the 1070 Ti, but uh, we'll see. Uh, anyways, everything is um, going towards Bitcoin right now. Um, I did finally get my full Ethereum Classic. It got 5.241 right now. Um, Bitcoin this week, $4.83. Everything is just taking a complete dump, by the way. The values are terrible. Um, still, I'd mine $2.55, $2.55 worth. Um, $6.52 of Ethereum Classic. Um, I've got my NVIDIA rig right now, this one. Uh, it's on NiceHash right now. Um, Honey Miner was not... Um, it's kind of buggy, like I said in the last video, so I got it thrown on nice hash right now. I've only got a dollar eighty-nine worth of nice hash, giving me a total value mine this week of fourteen thirty-nine. So the way it's going, I'm barely going to break thirty dollars this week total value mine gross. Um, absolute total value mine is sitting at four eighty-six. That's down from 527 last week. So that is a 27, 37, about a $41 drop. And of course, that's due in part to the markets being in the uh, crapper again. So we go over here. Bitcoin is uh, down. Everything is down again today. And from what I'm hearing by people I watch online, some of the guys who do uh, technical analysis, it's only going to get worse. So. We'll see. Uh, one thing I did change is um, let's switch this right here over on what to mine. There's a 580. So basically, my AMD rig is a 580, a 570, and four 560s. But I just there is no 560 option, so I put in three 570s because the four 560s are about two. 570 equivalent. So you hit calculate and Ethereum has dropped below Ethereum Classic. So what I'm doing now is mining Ethereum Classic on Mining Pool Hub and converting that over to Bitcoin. Still got a little, a little bit of Ethereum left over and then it should uh, be gone and be just doing straight Ethereum Classic. As you can see Ethereum took a big hit today down almost 10 percent let me refresh that yep so ethereum is uh not doing very well if they don't watch out ripple is going to overtake them which that would be quite a shock ethereum's been the uh, second place for a long time let's see what ethereum classic's doing real quick still sitting at 13 12 dollars 51 cents just everything is it's complete garbage today guys but what can you do? You got to hold it. You can't be selling it right now, at least in my opinion. Um, we did get a Moondex Masternode payout of 79 coins. That happened on, um, I think it was Saturday. I got that payout. The uh, 
The uh, Moondex Exchange is finally in beta right now. I mean, it's just within like the past 24 hours. So it's up. Um, you can go to beta.moondex.io. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. May take a little bit to load. And here's the exchange. Obviously, very little activity. Pretty much basically none. Um, it should load up here in a bit. Let's go to the exchange. But, like I said, it just, um, just opened up not even 24 hours ago, I don't think. So not much going on. Obviously, it come, come to expect that. But I did some figuring on this. And my moon decks right here, where is it at? 0 0.0062 from what I could gather. So about half a penny those moon decks coins are worth. So that's about 49 cents, 79 coin payout. Uh, so a grand total of 1439 for this week. Okay, guys, um, that's going to be it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Let me know what you think about the whole hash flare deal, what you're going to do about it. Uh, are you going to try like using a library card or maybe a gym card or something like that as your form of ID? May work, you know. May get you enough just to get the uh, like they did me and allow me to withdraw even though it's not fully verified yet. Um, anyways, let me know below. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you're new here. And uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, guys.